Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm up in Wyoming visiting some family, but I decided I'd stop and see Tyler Sassy. This is Tyler Sassy with Western Welding Academy. Today we're just gonna take a tour of the school. I was up here last year. If you didn't see that video, we'll link it in the description. Go check out that video. A lot's changed here at Western Welding Academy and I'm excited to check out what all has changed. Tyler's gonna take us along and show us a few changes. Yes, sir. If you're watching this video when it goes up, Tyler is actually having a welding competition that we wanted to let you know about. Yeah, so we are having a welding competition here, Western Welding Academy in Gillette, Wyoming. This uh, event's gonna take place on September 12th, and it's, uh, it's for all people that weld pipe or wanna weld pipe. If you're in high school, we have a high school division, or we have an open division for, for a guy at 20 plus years old. Uh, you need RSVP at our website, westernweldingacademy.com. And uh, we'll see you there, September 12th. Thing our students do is uh, generally they come in here and they talk to Lucy, who's at the uh, lunch right now. And they handle their financial aid portion of their, you know, tuition with Stephanie. Stephanie does a really good job of handling our tuition and some of that other stuff for us. Yeah, yeah, very, very important. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And then this is my office. I just uh, got back from a long road trip, so. She's a little messy, we probably don't want to go in there. I'll bring you out here and meet the team. All right. This is our instructor break room here. So we've got a little kitchen and these guys, that's where they eat their lunch. And uh, you know, kind of keep an eye on the place while they're oh, at yeah. lunch. Nice, I like it, yeah. I like it. Huh? All right, let's go take, check it out. Take you a tour. So our students come in and they sign in. We run this place just like a job site. So. All of our sign in, sign out, that all takes place at the iPad. They, they've got a specialized code that they got to put in action. It takes a picture of them, just like a time clock. Um, that, when they sign in, that tracks their time on whichever phase that they're working on in their, in their curriculum. Yeah, gotcha, so actually, gotcha. We've set our curriculum up just like a job site. It's got man hour and it has a daily feedback metric. Really sets them up for success. They know whether they're ahead or behind every day. And I've got yeah, some other stuff to show you. Way. Yeah. A long way. Yeah. Some of our bigger pipes, and also our 16 inch and 12 inch setup here, 8 inch. Okay, so this is set up to mostly learn how to run a bevel machine? They yeah. don't do no welding over here necessarily? No welding necessarily. I mean, we do show them how to run, you know, the Sawyer clamps, and then we do some cutting off some of these joints of pipe here. Um, we cut a lot of our bigger coupons. We've got this big uh, bevel machine here and then we also have a motorized crawler as you can see we've got a big shipment of rod come in um, we run a first shift and a second shift now and we'll run through about 150 pounds of rod a day it's good though yeah. that's, that's where the experience <laughs> is right. you know what i mean it's yeah. in that hood time that's right this is our consumables um, rack here um, so all of our test coupons and our testing rod, this is for testing rod only. Yeah. Um, not to be cross contaminated with any other rod. So, this is a pipe rack simulator for. Um, this is one of our pipe rack simulators. So you take a set of coupons, you tack them up, you put them in here, and you got to make this weld with these restrictions. You notice the height? I mean, that's a pain in the butt right there. Yeah. Made to be, of course. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And then, so they make the 5G, there's a 6 inch and an 8 inch, and then down here they can use a, uh, an 8 inch horizontal one. With I mean, all those you can restrictions. See it. yeah. 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 It's right in the corner. I mean, you make that weld. You're only got a bunch here. You're uh, only slick at welding pipe in a nasty area. You know, real world training. So. This is some of our fabrication stuff that our students have done with, uh, you know, learning how to, you know, put fittings in and lay out and do isometric drawings yeah. and pull measurements and, you know, calculate these pup lengths. You know, we've got everything from a butt weld to a socket weld, the threaded pieces, you know, and it's all tied in there, goofy offsets. 
I absolutely um, love all this. Absolutely love it. Yeah. It's just like all this stuff, you, you and I both know, we, we had to learn how to do all these takeoffs and stuff, most likely out in the field. I don't know how you learned, but like, I had to learn all that as I went, you know, phone calls, looking in the book, you know. We, and so it's nice to have all this hands-on experience at school, you know. A lot of pain, really, yes. is what you're describing, a yes. pain, you know. Yes. You're hired to be a welder and go yep. out there and fill that. And yep. That's the biggest difference is, is us giving, I mean, not only do they learn how to weld here in the booth, but then they also get this real good uh, hands-on experience with some of the most talented pipe fitters I've ever seen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we show them how to draw isometric drawings, you know, pull the measurements, lay it out, use a laser, plumb bob. So know, many, so. so many welders are real good welders, but they don't feel confident in fabricating, yeah. and that's what's going to keep you in a job. You that's know what right. I mean? Like, yeah. I was told that a long time ago, working in a tank farm by an old man. He said, "He said you learn how to fabricate. He said you're going to be the last one yeah. on the job, and that's this right here is where it's at. That's nice. You can see it's uh, Nate's heartbreaking. Right nice, here. yeah. Uh, and you get a really, really slick weld. We cut that thing apart and we put it and we test it to the you know AWS standards and and uh, we bend it on that radius, which is you know in accordance with Section Nine of B311 Power Piping Code. So." Uh, and there's been a few hearts that have been broken. Here, I love that. That's part of it, though. <laughs> the, old, the old iron horse. That's right. The old That's iron right. horse. We've got our coupon cutter. He's a master coupon cutter here. His name's Kristen. Does a slam up job. Good deal, yeah. He cuts all the welds out and rebevels the coupons. Um, every, he works on everything from, from 8 inch to 2 inch carbon steel, stainless steel. Um, this little window is a student. You know, you got your coupons, you come up. You set it down, you tell him what you need, and he gets you what you need off the shelf. You can see, I mean, it gives a, it gives a perfect machine bevel. So when we're teaching the fundamentals of the pipe welding, yeah. we want them to do it on, on perfection. So the only thing that's holding them back is their own ability right. or lack thereof. Right. We do do like a flame cut, a hand ground bevel, and that's pretty powerful because that's like real world field experience yeah but we want to put the fundamentals in them first especially when you're practicing for that TIG welding I mean it don't take nothing to clean that thing up a little bit in your welding it allows you to have way more hood time when you can walk to that window yep. get you a set of nipples to go to work go down yeah yeah JT! How you doing, partner? I'd like to introduce you to Austin Ross. I don't know if you've met Austin What's Ross name, or not. JT? Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Where, where are you from? Kentucky. Kentucky? Yeah. yeah. Awesome, awesome. We're going in here, right Yeah. Here. How long you been here? Uh, this has been my first week. It's first week. JT's been here from Kentucky. We're, we're super proud to have him. You're embarking on a good journey. He's going to be a welder. He's going to make it. That's right. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Good deal. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Where are you from? Florida. Right on. Yeah. Right on. So he's from Florida. And how long have you been here? Uh, almost three weeks. Now. All right. Yeah. You liking it? Oh, yeah. A lot. For sure. And in three weeks, he's welding pot. So you can see that he's... he's uh, he had some natural ability coming in here. He probably practiced on the weekend, you know what I mean? Right. Either that or he's just a really fast learner, either which we like, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Steven yeah. is going to make it. He's got Good what deal. it takes, as far as we can Good tell deal. yet. So. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah. Definitely a lot of help for that part. Getting up to here, though, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good. Good. Good deal. As long as you're enjoying it, make sure you're enjoying it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. This is old glory. Well, Laura here, we say Pledge of Allegiance to every, uh, there you go. every shift at our state meeting. Um, one of the things that is kind of interesting is 85% uh, of our students come from all other states other than Wyoming. And it's just, it's just powerful to see the, the like, relentless pursuit these kids have for the passion to get into the pop club and you know, yeah. see the drive that you know, some of these guys have. It. Right. inspiring what it is to do it. But that's what it takes though. That's where it starts. It's in the heart, you know what I mean? Like you gotta want it. You gotta yeah. want it. This is our moving pipe rack 
simulator, you know, majority of your pipe rock welds are in the five feet position. And so um, we built this one. And, and the beauty of this one is on wheels, so we can roll it around, we can roll it in the welding booth. In the curriculum, as, as part of their curriculum, they got a weld and a pipe rack under restriction, you know. And so all these have got their four inches separation between pipes. But we go two inch, four inch, eight inch, and six inch, and you've got restrictions. This one's a little bit lower, so that it has the student crawls up underneath, and you know, they get this bottom side, and then they gotta reach up over or crawl on top and weld the top side. Yeah. You know, so they yeah. TIG weld in this thing and they stick weld. You can see there's a couple of examples. Kyle's got himself some coupons. Kyle, where are you from? New York. All right. Uh, New York. Okay. How long you been here? Huh? Uh, you liking it? Yeah. A good deal. Yeah. yeah. Kyle's got a great attitude. Goes up every day. Burns that rod. I mean, he's hey, uh, really putting in effort. So that's the difference. Is that attitude? That's good. Good attitude goes a long way. Yep. Yeah. Good deal. Well, keep it up, buddy. Awesome. You're doing great. Nice. Alex is almost ready to graduate and go to work. Where are you from? Carson City, Nevada. Carson Nevada. City, Nevada. I know. Nice. How old are you, Alex? 19. He's doing good. He's doing really good. Um, this is our inspection table as they bring the uh -huh. welds up for inspection. Uh -huh. They'll inspect these welds and look at them and pull measurements off of them and critique them, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. It's that way really I know it's like get their welds critiqued. Yeah. Like how strict can you get? Yeah. Depends on the instructors. Uh, 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 yeah. This is shift change. Some of these guys are early, yeah. are early, you know. I mean, you can see these guys here, they're here early. They're on in this early. They want it. These guys are putting in the effort. Um, I don't know. I think there's 16 or 17 students on. Um, this is second shift. So first shift will be wrapping up, cleaning their boots, and rolling out of there. Colby awesome. Alvin. Nice, nice to meet you. Colby's from Springtown, Texas. Okay. He's graduated today. That's exciting. That's real exciting. Take some pictures with him. Yes, we do. Yep. Yep. Colby has a job lined up, embarking on his uh, new journey. Yeah. Shoot, yeah. See him off. That's real exciting. You're gonna you're gonna love to get that real world experience. You know what I mean? That's freaking awesome. Yeah. Take some pictures and, with him, yeah. And then we can send him off. Like his dad's, they got his apartment loaded up. Like they're ready to go. So, yeah, if we can get that done and let him go, yeah, that, that'd be good. Chomping at the bit. Yeah, absolutely he is. Yeah. Ready to make fire for a living. Yeah. Uh, I want to introduce you, Samantha Caldwell from Gillette, Wyoming. Samantha Austin Ross. Ross. Nice to meet you. She's a welder. I don't know. I want to show you her first weld on pot. This weld is not perfect. She never touched a welding rod a day in her life. Um, this is her first weld she ever made on pot. It was a 2G 6010 root pass, 7018 fill and cap. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, this thing ain't perfect. But, but for the first time, come on. Bright future. <laughs> Stay with me, bright future. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. She's really leading it, leading uh, our women welder kind of mentality or, or aspect, you know, because women are great at this trade as well. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Yep. So I think uh, Sam was one of our first, she was the second uh, female student we've had, and, and uh, she's, she's setting a pretty high bar for the rest of them, yeah. let me just say that. Back when I was in welding school, I remember hearing a lot about like women are actually could be better because their handwriting's better. Yeah. So yeah. like it's, I mean, yep. it's, you got to see your TIG work. Yeah. That TIG yeah. torch, yeah. I mean, it's... They don't, yeah. It's just, they got a the natural, natural versus us guys. We got to fight it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But that's crocheting awesome. Crocheting helps, too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> crocheting helps, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Colby. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. That's Good awesome. Job, man. Yeah. I know you kind of briefly met, but I formally introduced you to Austin Ross. This is Michael Henderson. Mr. Ross. Where are you from? <laughs> South Carolina. Yes, South sir. Carolina. How long have you been here? I've been here for a total of five and a half months. Right yeah. on. Right mm -hmm. on. Part of that was a month and a half of chronic <laughs> Right, right. Shutdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I landed here, well, I drove here, it was a 26-hour drive, and 45 minutes. <laughs> and uh, the first day I did 14 hours. <laughs> 
First day I did 14 hours and 35 minutes. Dang it, uh, boy. I finally got here. I got here around 12. <laughs> come, yeah. come rolling in, Michael Henderson been talking to him for weeks. Freaking I'm ready to what? You know? yeah. yeah. Let me in there, yeah. knocking down the door. Yeah, yeah. And then like two days later, <laughs> boom, state shuts us down on Friday. Yeah, hi, nice. yeah. What, did, what, what did you do with the downtime? Because was it just a couple weeks y'all were down there? No kidding. Six. God dang. Anyway, what did you what did you do with your time? Did you? I mean, uh, for the time, we had fight welding class online. Oh, okay. I did that and. Shoot, I didn't yeah. know what I was going to be here for. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I took advantage of, of the time, didn't <laughs> learning something though. That's what that's where it's at. Yep. And yeah. what delayed my departure coming here. I actually got wild. Um, uh, I come from gang territory, pretty much, so I got wild one night and uh, I kinda delayed me coming here, so I had to take a job at BMW, make a little bit of money just to get up here. Wow. So, yeah. But it, it was my fault too because I wasn't minding my surroundings. I should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it happened. But um, I think that just made me stronger in the process. It didn't stop me from coming. I absolutely. Still coming. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So yep. I was determined. Many obstacles stood in Michael's way, but he yes. just kept pressing on with that yeah. grit. Ain't, ain't nothing gonna yeah. stop me. Yeah. 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 That says a lot about your character. Yeah. yeah. It, does. it really does. Yeah. yeah. Um, and those are the people. Those are the people that we want to help. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That want to help themselves. Yeah. That, that want, that, that want it, absolutely. you know. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so typically we have a, a safety meeting for both shifts are outside. Um, and one of the things that we, one of the things that we, we uh, we're always looking for is growth minded people that, that naturally have um, an optimistic viewpoint. Right, and we call it grit. And um, if you have grit, just like what you just heard with Michael about getting robbed and all these obstacles that stood in his way and then running out of money and having to work a part-time job, a temporary job to build up enough money to get here, that's grit, you know, that's what yeah, we're looking for. Absolutely, yeah. But grit can be taught as well. And so one of the, you know, there's a many different ways that we, we analyze and look for grit, but then also why we try to teach it while they're here in our safety meetings one of the things that we do is uh we ask them to bring a positive thought or a positive um something positive right you know um something as simple as i'm just happy to be alive today or um i got this i'm gonna make this or you know some sort of bring some kind of positivity to the to the safety meeting and it helps everybody right if we all remain in that optimistic growth minded you can be anybody you want to be as long as you're willing to keep showing up and learn something new every day you know that's what's it's powerful it really is. you have no idea how much i love that yeah <laughs> I absolutely love yeah. that it, it's powerful i mean it really like, is the, for real though like the morale that creates yeah the morale is everything yeah and it worked well you've been we've worked jobs where you 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 enjoyed your trade, I'm sure, but you've worked jobs yeah. where you felt this big or like God, I don't like this job because of X Y Z. You know, the morale is everything. Yeah, that's you know, you're a product of your surroundings, and if your surroundings of the initial foundation of your career was this real solid, optimistic team environment, golly, that's powerful yeah, for what that'll do for you the rest of your career yeah. and everybody that you meet and touch from there on. You know, you throw a, a, a rock in a in a pond and the ripple effect right we've talked about the ripple effect and how powerful it is yep. just yeah. that just that foundational optimism that it is possible to have that that's yeah. where i came from yeah. it's possible to have that you know yeah well i'm a high school dropout right are you really i didn't know that yeah yeah what, what grade or whatever i got a ninth grade education no way are you serious <laughs> yeah you're not just you're not just no, saying I that no yeah i did not know that yeah huh. yeah i have a ninth grade education and uh so, and not that I'm like some epitome of success or anything, but really through that optimistic growth minded grit, keep showing up, keep providing, you know, relentlessly providing values. That, that's actually one of our, our core values here is, is to continually relentlessly provide value and uh, keep showing up, keep doing that. Yeah. The sky's the limit if you're willing Absolutely. to learn something new every day. And, yep. and, uh, and so, yeah. I'm, and keep I'm, adding value. Yeah, that's huge yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I appreciate the tour, Tyler. This place is looking good, nice and fluent. I love it. I love where it's going.
That's a crazy times right now. What? How has the uh, coronavirus affected what's going on here at your school? Yeah, that's a good question. We actually hear that a lot, you know. And um, you know, these are these are strange strange times we're living in. But but you know, in every cloud there's a silver lining. I will say that uh, you know. Coronavirus has, has affected so many different industries, but the essential worker, he keeps showing up every day. He keeps providing value. As far as how it's affected us here at Western Welding Academy, um, honestly, it's been great. Huh. In, in the sense of our, our student intake uh, process, you know, 85% of our students come from all other states other than Wyoming. And it just takes a, like a higher level of commitment to this trade that you're committing yourself to. And we wanna help those people that have the true grit. And coronavirus has just helped us do that because you know every applicant that we look at, I look at it like as a superintendent, would I hire that person? You know, so I wouldn't hire them, I probably wouldn't take them. You know? Exactly, yeah. Um, so, so it's kinda helped you guys weed, weed them out naturally. Yeah. It's yes. kinda naturally weeded it's out. Coronavirus is the natural selection oh, wow. from our student intake process that the, there's so much motivation to stay on the couch, keep playing the video games, whatever it is that you're doing in this uh, you know self-quarantine era that we live in. Yeah. Um, the guy that's like, he picks up the phone and says, I want a weld pot. Yeah, I don't care what's going on. I want in there. You know what I mean? That guy, yeah. I want him to weld pot. Yeah. Or that lady or that yeah. that woman. That's you know? who you want. That's who that, I want. Yeah, not yeah. not worried about what's going on. A they got great the determination, career. yeah, and they yeah. want that career, yep. Yeah. Cool, appreciate it, Tyler. All right, at the end of every one of my videos, I like to add a piece of advice. Yeah. If you had any kind of advice that you would tell somebody, what kind of advice would you give them? If you believe you can do it, you're right. If you believe that you can't do it, you're also right. All right, you know how I end every one of my videos? Yeah, learn something every day. We'll see y'all next Friday. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm off work this week, and I'm up here in Wyoming <laughs> visiting family, and I... Arch, how are we supposed to do this? Here? Help us, man. No, that's not, that's not right. Sitting around drinking coffee. Oh, I got mine. What? Oh, yeah, you gotta, so you gotta clip it like this. Testing, testing one, two, three. Yeah, this is the hot mic project right here. <laughs> I'm sure the YouTube police will correct me. See ya. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Learn something every day. We'll see y'all next Friday.